become like this like classic mm -hmm. photo of me and JJ with this anaconda over our shoulders and we were like we you know we 12 days out in the jungle on a hunting trip and we, we came back and we showed his dad and uh Santiago looked at us and he was like that's the smallest anaconda I've ever <laughs> seen he's like you guys are pathetic uh, the 12 foot and he was like look you go to the go he was like go he's like I'm giving you permission go to the boy go to the floating forest and so we went to this place and we reached there at night and it was me, JJ, and one of his brothers. And his brother took one look at it and was like, I'm out. And he started walking back. And it was just like one of those moments where we saw it at the same time. And the snake was so big that, I mean, this must have been a 25-foot anaconda dead asleep with a, with a probably a 16-foot anaconda like sprawled across her. And they're laying in the starlight floating on top of the lake, standing there in the middle of the Amazon. We'd call it like a 12-foot anaconda, and it's now it's become like this like classic photo of me and JJ 